Hello, Pablo. Hello. How are you? I am very fine, thank you. How about you? How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Pablo, I, I, I've seen you uh, the last time in lockdown when I photographed you through your window. <laughs> yeah, that's right. And, and since then, um, how have you been, how have you coped in that time? Yeah, I mean, I was here in summer, as you know, and after that, I could make a concert with orchestra. My mm -hmm. musical activity was, yeah, quite good. In September, uh, some concerts in October, but since then, nothing mm -hmm. until my last concert uh, two weeks ago in, in Spain. Oh, okay. And, um, uh, mm -hmm. It was yeah a really hard time uh, of studying and a really lot a lot of things to do. And with the studying, uh, was it so? Did you have mostly online lessons and things like that, Zoom lessons, or how did that function? Yeah, uh, they managed very good at the university. We did mostly everything online. But with the music, it's not that easy. Uh, mm. With playing, I mean, with theoretical subjects, yeah, uh, it works. But with playing, not. Hopefully, they uh, manage also very good, and we could go to the to the university to play there and make uh, at least the practical subject uh, in presence. I mean, at the mm. university, not online. But still, it felt something like uh, to play with, with more people, to, to play in orchestra. That was uh, a difficult time, I would say. So during your studies, do you get a lot of opportunity to do concerts? So that is, is that part of, of your training, so, uh, I would say? Yeah, during the year, during each year, you do you get a lot of opportunities to play at the university, mostly in your in your instrument class, but also with chamber music groups and other projects. Uh, it is here in Vienna really, really nice to, to uh, the, the possibilities that you can find. Mm. And we could also make uh, an opera project like one month ago at the beginning of May. Uh, and that was also such a great joy by, because, um, yeah, with so many musicians on the stage, again, to play, it was really, really nice. Mm. Um, and did you have an audience as well at that time? No, that was not possible. It was not allowed because we were still in half lockdown here in Vienna with these uh, difficult rest restrictions. And it was um, recorded. It will be uh, at the website of the university very soon, but it uh, it uh, it wasn't allowed to to yeah. calm the people. Yeah, it was a pity because it was really really nice with singers yeah. and scene and everything. Mm. And did, did you feel that everybody was more excited to be back? Um, yeah, at the first rehearsal, just with the orchestra at the university, it was, we, every of us had a really different feeling, you know, because it was like to come back home again, to play together again, not to play in a room uh, alone every day, not anymore, but to the joy and, and the, this feeling to play together. And then, we, we came to the theater, uh, we made it in Schloss Theater Schoenbrunn, and it was really, really nice there with the singers too. Uh, it was such a feeling to be, to be there. It was magic, really, for all of us. It was like a dream. Really? Do you think the, the musicians are more connected in a way um, after all this? Because you've all been through this together, uh, do you think there's more of this connection feeling between you? I think so. I think every of us had um, a lot of. Uh, we, we we wanted this. We wanted to come back. We we wanted. We needed to to play with another, and uh, I think we also learned how, what is to to be alone. 
it is important also for, for practicing and learning, but now it is much more important for us to play together. And, and I think we have, we have sought that. Mm. And do you think now in this year that with, with uh, how, uh, which year are you, are you in your final year now studying? Yeah, uh, I finished in Spain and here I also finished my client's diploma, but I am uh, going on with my studies at the university at the MDV. Oh, I see. Okay. But did you think this year um, that's passed that you've, uh, the, the, it will always be all, uh, like a gap or do you think you will, will um, get that uh, experience and information and and this whole thing back do you think that this will always be this part in your uh, training that you feel you missed out on something or um, you have to to catch up on something I don't think I don't think so actually because I think it was a really hard period difficult period for for all of us of course not just for, for musicians or, or artists, but for all the people. It was around the world. I mean, it, it was not just for all, for us, but uh, I think we've learned something. We've learned how to manage, how to, how to go on, how to set basics and set um, also like points where we have to go to motivate us, mm -hmm. ourselves. And mm. this is very, very, very important. Mm. I don't think I have missed my time in this period, but because also the university was organizing that really, really good. Uh, we didn't miss a lot of things here, despite of the situation. And yeah, I think it's more a uh, learning process. It, it was more a learning period than a uh, missing period, but still, uh, I wouldn't repeat it. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> but uh, do you think also um, uh, that it taught you, uh, you saying that, uh, that you, uh, there were things that, other things that you would maybe normally not learn um, because you would be so in the run of things. But uh, do you think it's, it's now important also for young musicians to realize that um, they have to have more also of a business sense or a marketing sense, or how do you, um, you know, put yourself out there? Yeah, mostly, I mean, do, do in the music life and the art, arts world, you have to, to learn how to sell yourself, actually. Yeah. Yeah. And nowadays, um, still more. Uh, for example, for the orchestral auditions, uh, now you have um, uh, to send videos. Sometimes, sometimes because of the corona, you you cannot they cannot invite so many people. For example, and you have to to now how to sell yourself and how to present your information, your photos, or or how to make a good video because that would be the, would make a decision and the, the good lights the the, the, the um, quality of the sound it's yeah I think every of us has learned about that something like yeah so Pablo tell me something um uh, when you do a concert uh is how do you decide on what to wear or do you have a just a a, a set uh clothes that you wear for a concert yeah, um, I mean, for the clothes, I, I like to organize that with time before. I don't like to, to wait until the last minute. Um, but for example, when I play with orchestra or with chamber music, we have to, to we usually have a dress code, I mean, black or suit or something. Oh. But for example, for my only concerts or my concert with my pianist in Spain, Mm, I like to, to choose my, my clothes before uh, because I like to, to look good and, but also feel comfortable. Mm. That is very important, I think. Mm. Feel comfortable with, with yourself when you are playing because sometimes we search the best clothes and the, the most beautiful dress, 
or, or sweets, but then we are playing and we realized, oh, I don't feel really good playing with these clothes. Yeah. So I think it's very important to, to choose, uh, to have a, a good choice. Um, I've spoken to a, a violinist and he said actually that shoes are very important for him. Uh, you know, the, the heel of the shoe and the, the fit of the shoe. Do you feel that as well with playing the flute? Yes, uh, mostly because I like and I have to have a really good contact with the um, floor. Okay. Mm. Yeah, because of the diaphragm, with uh, our the, the air, everything we are connected to earth. We are we are connected to the floor, and and I could not stand um, not being um, in a really good balance. Mm. So I like to choose also really comfortable shoes for for my concerts, and to be in order to be connected yeah. to the floor and, and feel this this power from coming from from there. Mm. And when you practice, do you practice barefoot or also with shoes? Mm, it depends. When I practice at home, I don't practice with uh, shoes. Mostly mm. now in summer or already fast summer, with it's uh, really hot here, also in Spain. But when I am preparing for a concert, yeah, I like to, to prepare myself like in this feeling. Okay. That mm. is not something new at the day, mm. but you you get to you get involved in this uh, atmosphere before. Mm -hmm. And what is your pre-concert ritual? Do you do something before a concert? I don't have um, actually um, so many rituals before a concert, but I would say I like to relax myself. I need to relax myself, maybe play a little bit, of course, but mm -hmm. also have time for myself to disconnect, to prepare myself for the moment. Mm -hmm. And don't think, don't think too much about it, but I mean, be in the mood of concert, mm -hmm. but like take a bath, good food, maybe a little bit of music, but not so many kind of music. Um, and the most important, don't play a lot because it doesn't make sense, I think, the, the day before the concert, the moments before the concert. Relax myself, prepare good myself with a lot of time and enjoy this previous moment mm. because we are mostly rust. Like, yeah, I have to a, play a concert, I, I must be on time. And with this oh, yeah. Yeah. dress, and I think that brings up us nothing, actually. Mm. We, we should. It's difficult, of course. It's more, much more easier to, to, to tell it yeah. than to do it. <laughs> but it's like to enjoy this moment with good music yeah. in, a, in a nice place and when it's possible. And when I'm in Spain, I like to do it at my home or, the, or at the countryside with good weather, something good to eat mm. and prepare myself to enjoy. Mm. Do you have a big meal before the time or is, are you also that have that feeling that you can't eat too much before? Mm, I love to eat at mm. every time, oh, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, to eat is a pleasure in our life. Mm. It's one of our pleasures. But before a concert, I find it very important for me to eat something. Uh, I cannot play without eating. That, that doesn't work for me, but not very much. I cannot have a big meal before a concert because then I would be really full and not able to play, to use my diaphragm, of course. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, something healthy, not very heavy, some fruits mm -hmm. or not coffee. I love coffee, but I try to avoid it before a concert. Oh, okay. For what reason? Um, because I think inside of me, it, um, it gives me energy. And before a concert, I have already uh, this oh, um, quantity of the energy. I don't need any more. Oh, so okay. it's better to eliminate this coffee before a concert. Mm. And yeah, that's it. Oh, okay. 
But this is so lovely to hear. I like to hear all these uh, these behind the scenes things because it's so interesting. I never, you know, I, I didn't realize this, that you have to be earthed, you know, or, or, you know, that you have to be really stable on the, on the ground with a diaphragm. I didn't know that connection there, but, uh, but yeah, it, it absolutely makes sense. So uh, what is now the, uh, the next for you? Are you just going to relax over the summer or do you have concerts coming up? I have uh, some projects here in Vienna before the summer and then I will go to Germany because I have an orchestral audition there. Mm. But then I will go definitely to Spain on holiday because I need it. I mean, it was a really long year with a lot of things to do. Uh, I made my final, my final concerts here and in Spain. I also wrote my thesis, my um, investigation work here mm -hmm. for Spain. And uh, it was a really long year. I am very happy about everything I did, but I think uh, it's time also to make a break. Uh, yeah. We artists, not only artists, but um, especially us, mm -hmm. we need to make a break sometimes. Mm -hmm. It doesn't work if we go on always and always. I think this time also have taught us all to take things a bit slower, you know, and to really, um, there's no rush. There's really time that we take for ourselves as well. Yeah, I think too. Um, mostly where on, on the first lockdown, I was in Spain. I wasn't here. I went to Spain with my family and I realized, yeah, I mean, you have no rust. Mm. It was one side a bit depressing because you think, okay, I'm preparing myself for what? <laughs> mm. But yeah. um, the other side, uh, you have more time for yourself. You can prepare yourself good. Take your time to study the things good, to enjoy every detail. That is very important too. Mm. And I think, uh, yeah, that we us have learned about this experience. Mm, however, each one has, mm, of course, uh, his rhythm of life mm -hmm. and so on, but I think it was helpful for, for some of us. Yeah, I think also I spoke to a, um, a young musician from Greece and she said that, well, she's still studying it, and, and she said that it was the first time over lockdown that she actually spent so much time with her family since she was younger because it was all this always away and always studying and always practicing and over the summer you know she had things to do and it was the first time that she could spend summer with friends and family and so on and yeah we, we never realized this but that's already from a young age that you have these pressures and that you have this routine that you always have to practice and always have to do something so uh, I'm, I'm happy when I hear things like that because I think it's good you know that that there was a time and that maybe like you say it will be something you think about and think okay I have to slow down a little bit or I can take a few weeks off yeah I think mm -hmm. because before I mean still now we we don't do it we are in our uh, world, we have to go on, we, we cannot uh, make a break, we have to go straight and go on, go on, I have to do this and this and this concert, uh, rehearsals, travel, blah, blah, blah. And sometimes your body actually stops you because of the stress is not good for your health. Mm. I mean, I had so much stress uh, this last week bef uh, before my concert here in Spain with traveling. Also, mm -hmm. every every measure you have to take uh, for travel and, oh, yeah. and so on. And my body told me, hey, calm down. Mm -hmm. You have to make it through, but take your time because sometimes we, we, we forget that. Yeah, no, that's absolutely true. So, but I wish you a wonderful um, summer or a wonderful time in Spain when you go and time to relax a little bit. Thank you very much.
and uh, and um, it's wonderful all the studying that you did and and you know the, that you did it here and in Spain. Um, and best of luck for next year when you come back and and you study at MDV. Yep. Yeah. So all the best for that. And thank you. you. Thank you very much for the for the opportunity to give the artist a voice. Like like I said when we when we talk, uh, this is very important also to show the world what are we doing and in which mm. way. I think so too. And and. Um, yeah, we can always, you know, later next year or so catch up and, and then also see what you're doing because I think that would be lovely to have so something continuous to, you know, to talk again about what you're doing and projects that you're having. So, um, so keep in touch. please let me know. Yeah. Yeah, of course. It would be a pleasure. I hope yeah. also next year we will have more concerts and more projects. They are coming. So I hope yeah. so. Yeah. Okay, Pablo, I'll speak to you soon. Okay, thank you very much. Okay. All the best for you too. Thank you very thank much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye. Bye.